the fun starts here. Well, the fun starts here, but ends here in the junkyard. <laughs> well, this is what I came to see. And, uh, that makes me sad. I was gonna pull the headlights out. I was gonna pull the front half off because I want to do, I want to do a front conversion for mine. Oh, that's still there. Oh, it's in really bad condition though. I want that too, but it looks like pretty bad condition. Ugh. This thing is gross. I'm missing one of the fucking seats, really. These back seats are really valuable too. It's got the whole carpet in here. Huh. To be fair, I really haven't messed around with the SC a whole lot. Oh, that's so gross, you fuckheads. Why would you do that? Ah. These seats are really nice too, but the freaking airbag went off. Damn it. Yeah, see, this has the seat belts in the seat. It's got the cool gauges. Yeah, the whole center part's nice, but man, that is jacked up. Damn it. Well, I'm going to comb over this thing a little bit, but uh, that's not looking good. This thing is pretty well uh, abused, and that makes me really super sad. <sighs> The other thing is, they put it in the freaking cars instead of the SUV, so it took me a minute to find it. <laughs> nah. Well, that's what I was afraid of. Every single part of this thing that I wanted is damaged. The bumper is chewed up, broken off. One of the headlights, boy, they really broken. This one, you could fix this. It's pretty cracked. The fenders are destroyed. The wheel. Sweet wheels destroyed. Uh, this fender, of course, gone. The seats, the seats are even destroyed because of the airbag, like I said earlier. I might try to pull this out. Actually, that's elevated up. I didn't realize that. So that's different than mine. Ugh. I don't know if I want this or not, as bad as it is. I'm gonna redo this, but oh, what a pain in the dick. Even this, I was thinking about taking this, the whole top's just broken off. It's got the cool gauges, but not really worth my time pulling that out. Oh, what a sad, sad story. Dang it. I was really excited to see this one too. Piss. Back here. It's gonna, let me take this blacked out element thing. Oh, even back here, there's nothing really of note. It's exciting. Yeah, what a bummer. It must have been the old head unit that was in it. Princess. Thanks, Princess, for destroying a great car. It does have the uh, trailer hitch. Let's see, it had the nice wheels on it. Oh, friggin' bummer. It hits. Well, the element turned out to be more of a bust than I, uh, I was anticipating, but there's no reason to waste a good junkyard run. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, see what kind of trouble I can get into. First off, the wagon. I don't know if I talked about it in the last video, but the door actually froze up. And I actually got it out in a part last night, and I just had to saw, I literally had to saw some of the door jam. I had to saw this part right here open and get together here to pry that stupid thing out. So it looks like the wagon is, uh, the door latch is wagon specific, which is really a pain in the butt. However, looking at this, I think this is an 87 Accord, really nice interior. It's really well, good shape. It got hit pretty hard. Only 124,000 miles, so that's pretty sad. Anyway, I digress. The lock is in the same position as the wagon. The handle's the same spot as the wagon. It doesn't have auto belts or anything like that, so I don't know if it have the right sensors. The d handle looks a lot like the wagon style. So I'm gonna take this door panel apart and see if this lock, even the lock, looks the same kind of orientation. I might get lucky. I ordered one off uh, eBay last night. This wag's specific. So I don't know if that one will work or not. 
Well, that one should work. I don't know if this one will work. I might go ahead and see if I can't take this one off. And if it's not too hard, I'll give this one a shot. Now that I know how to take this thing out, it's not so bad. Uh, looking this thing over, the door handle on the way out is a little different, but I may be able to switch this arm from the one that's on the wagon. This one does have the uh, power lock actuator, which is, I mean, I don't need it, but it's kind of cool to have on there. Uh, I may actually have to take that part off. I don't know. We'll kind of see. Maybe it just won't have a lock on that side. I, I don't know. I'll get this, see how it works, see if it uh, will work on the wagon or not. Either way, it's not a wasted trip. Oh, poor hatch. You always find heartbreakers. Now that I wouldn't consider this one necessarily a heartbreaker, but someone put a lot of work into this interior. I thought it was just that, and I was like, oh, that's crazy. They actually pulled all the panels. But look at the headliner. Let me wrap this. That's a, that's a, lot, of, a lot of work. Bravo. I'm sorry I had to come to this 88 hatch. Looks like it's in good shape though. Probably just couldn't find a buyer for it or something. I don't know. It's sad that it comes to this because it's been a good little uh, race car to uh, turn around. Shame, shame. Well, I closed the hood a little bit too soon. I didn't look underneath. Somebody did a motor swap on this one. They did a dual point conversion. All it is, or a multi point fuel injection conversion. You can see all the extra nice leads they had there. You leave the resistor box. This is a newer motor. It's a D15B1. It looks like a some kind of header. <laughs> it's got a O2 sensor so you can tell it's a little newer. And look, it's even got AC. It looks like the AC is all there. All the lines are there. It's got a couple cracks in there from being dumped around. But uh, yeah, that, uh, that, that was a nice hatch. That's really extra sad to see now. You know, a lot of you guys don't realize my backstory where I started <laughs> it's embarrassing uh, you know as a kid you don't know a whole lot better but uh, this was this was my car it was, was this is not exactly this one wasn't my car but this is the car that I modified the most and I really had a lot of fun in and I really uh, I learned how to work on cars and I learned how to beat the shit out of cars a v6 third gen eclipse this is where I got my start this motor torquey no power, the car is really too heavy. But man, I loved it. <laughs> I had a, uh, a decent exhaust on it for the time, like an NVIDIA. And it sounded great to me. And I freaking loved that car. It, uh, it burned to the ground though. And uh, through probably actions of my own, I don't never really know what exactly happened, but it's no longer with us. I geeked out so hard about this and I love this thing. I really, someone, someone put some work into this one, you know, having fun with it, doing their own little thing, making it theirs. But they're, they're a fun car. I, again, not knowing any better as a kid, you think this thing's the, the stuff, the old GT. And then in 05 and 06, when this thing came out, I was really excited. I geeked out so hard about the new Eclipse. Same color orange when I wanted one really bad. I, uh, I tried to convince the dealership to let me take one for a test drive. I kind of told them, I was like, well, I'm either going to get the Evo or with the Eclipse whenever I graduate high school. My parents are going to give me one. I was trying to just upsell them, just trying to be like, hey, man, no, this is nothing to me. I'm, my family's rich. But they weren't rich. I just was trying to bluff them in to let me test drive one. <laughs> Needless to say, I never got to test drive one, and that's, that's fine. I grew out of the... Uh, the bulky fat eclipses though and then i got into some more practical stuff like you know 30 year old honda civic wagons so you know you gotta remember where you started from i want to be uh i want to get this channel big enough to where i can go back and buy stuff like this buy another v6 eclipse modify it like i did as a kid and, and give it away to somebody let somebody else have it let you know some 16 year old who's just getting started have it i think that's that's what i want to do in my life is i want to give away cars that meant a lot to me that maybe I hope somebody else out down the road. Never had a problem out of that thing except for a little stuff that I did. Uh, I placed timing belt and I left a bolt loose. That bolt came out and almost chewed up the timing belt. But thankfully, it hit the crank rod or the crankshaft position sensor, and it uh, killed the car, so it wouldn't let it start. <laughs> it's little stuff like that you remember 
for the rest of your life. And it, it got me all the way to college and then the element took over from there and got me through college. I still have it. So yeah, that's my story with old eclipses. I, I remember very well when these came out. I remember thinking these were the future and they were so cool and everybody's gonna want one. It turns out nobody wanted them and they ended up killing the Eclipse brand. <laughs> but that's, you know, retrospective. 15 years almost. Yeah, I graduated in 2006, so 15 years is coming up real soon. Oof, it goes by quick, guys. Oh, you two. I was walking by this car and I saw AMG on the wheels and I got excited, but I don't think, I think it's just the AMG wheels. But it was cool, I picked up this piece of wood trim. Yeah, this is the cool thing about uh, Mercedes, that's real wood. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I can't even break it, I was gonna break it to show you, but that's cool, it's like aluminum wood overlay on it real wooden tears something that you don't see very often anymore oh well that'll conclude pick and pull for now super boned about an sc but i didn't get a couple bits and bobs for it i got this uh trim piece for this so it's kind of cool it'll match the uh orange the element a little better and i got a pair of these update these because these were I don't like this at all I never like that chrome I've been missing that one for a while because the tab broke off so that'll be good for that side also to match that center bezel I got these so that'll match that a little better and it gives a little more updated cool look so uh, yeah I'm mad about that I thought about grabbing the gauges out of that SC but I'm not 100% sure it's compatible with swap across yada yada I may come back for it I don't know probably not though I don't know if I ever showed you guys this either I grabbed this front carpet piece out of an element out of the junkyard and, you know summertime-ish it was really nasty so I pressure washed the crap out of it and already, of course I got grass and crap in here again but yeah this is really rare to find. I actually found the front one. I didn't find the back one still, but that's still nice. And back of the homestead. Uh, quick little update. So I've always wanted to do ceramic coating, and I've seen a lot of great things about it. So I went ahead and ceramic coated the hood and the front bumper on the Fiesta. Just to get, I just did one coat for right now. I just want to kind of try it out, see what it's like. And I also went ahead and did the hood on the Cayenne. And the hood looks really good on the Cayenne, at least. So, kind of want to try it out, see how it all works, see if it's worth all the work. Uh, really, I've seen a lot of great things with like rally cars. They'll actually do their windshield, and then it keeps keeps it super clean, keeps the dust off, and even rain up to like 45 miles per hour. It's kind of like a rain X kind of thing. So, we shall see how it does on that. But anyway, back to the element stuff. So I know I've had a few questions. Uh, actually, today I had someone email me about the headlights that I got. And the good thing about elements, one really good thing I like about the element is the whole, basically all the bones of the 03 to 08 are all the same. So everything is basically interchangeable. I don't know about the 09 to 2011, but I do know this is from the 07, 08, and this is also from the 07, 08. And I just like the, the updated look of it. It gives it a whole new feel, makes it feel more updated than it actually is. And the same stories for the interior and everything else. So as you saw on the SC when I took this part off, I'm almost positive that'll switch over to the uh, to this. So I don't know, I may play around and see if I want to switch that out or not. Not really sold yet. I, these gauges are fine and they're the, you know, the old school element ones, but I don't know if I'll change that up. What we'll go ahead and do now is get this thing cleaned up and uh, also the new climate control stuff, get those cleaned up because they're kind of grimy and nasty from the last car. And what I didn't realize was going to be a pain in the butt is I, I could pull this part up, but I'd have to take the screen off. I want to completely remove it. So I got to arrange this somehow, and that's not going to be a lot of fun. But uh, I don't think it's going to be impossible. Losing light pretty quickly here, but uh, just a little bit of interior cleaner, spray on those, make them look nice and pretty. And now I'm going to see if I can wrangle this stupid thing out of here. I got this pulled off. The uh, new screen's off. But if you look, I mean, they share almost identical. One's from an 07, 
also an 03. So yeah, like I said, all the Honda element stuff is pretty much plug and play Legos if you want to. There you go. Now the old, et cetera, et cetera. You see, it just fits right back, just like the older one. Let me get this all bolted back in place. I actually got the chance to put the bezel on here and do a few other things I've been meaning to do. I just didn't want to take off that whole screen again. <laughs> Alrighty, the new gauges are in and all of the LEDs are working except for this top one on this one. So I need to replace that. Uh, also, for some reason, this panel here is not lighting up, I don't think. It's kind of hard to tell during the day. Got all this stuff wired back up. Transmission cores wired back up. Yeah, it gives a good updated look to it. You can see what the old one looked like. A little more modernized. So, uh, yeah, I kind of think I'll continue that theme of modernization with the inside of the wagon, or inside the element. What do you think back there, Ace? Huh? So what do you think? It's pretty empty. In the back? Yes, yeah, pretty empty. And put some stuff back there? Yeah, you did. And I finally fixed this stupid thing. This thing's been broke for, I don't know, six, seven years now. And I finally uh, replaced it with the one from the SC. And just, uh, there actually are two bolts here. I didn't even realize were there. I just tried to pull it off and I actually broke one of the things, but I can fix it, no problem. So it goes back to here. Like so. There we go. Upgraded SC parts. Let me get those screws back at the bottom of that. And this should be good to go. Look at that. I'm happy with that. It wasn't. It wasn't quite the haul that I was wanting. I really wanted that center console. That's what I was really after because those are pretty hard to get a hold of. But well, as you saw, it was in really, really rough condition. So we'll keep the search going. I'll uh, keep doing the updates because I don't really want to do like a sort of a modernized sc kind of all-wheel drive element because the sc element is like the street cruiser variant and they never made an all-wheel drive one so i kind of want to turn this one into more of a comfortable all-wheel drive sc element kind of thing plus i like the headlights better the whole front end just looks better so we'll see i think that's the uh the going plan with this one i'm getting there though i'm really glad that i found that sc in the in the uh, junkyard first time i've seen one locally ever so I randomly came across that the other night. So there you go. Keep uh, keep up with your local listings. So I figured in this video, I'd give you guys an update on this. This is what happened. This was an absolute nightmare to work through. So for some reason, this uh, door striker catcher latch thing, it just fa failed completely. Like it broke apart, like the plastic pieces in there and got jammed up and it would not come out. You can see I had to pry this thing apart just to get any kind of leverage in there. I actually had to cut a C out of this. So I get in there with a screwdriver and manipulate it. I had a ratchet strap going from one side to the other. I pulled the other door panel apart just so I could make sure I wasn't being crazy about it. But yeah, what a nightmare that was. I finally got it all apart. And like I said in the junkyard earlier, these are Wagner specific, so I don't think the one that I got from the cord is going to work. I am going to kind of look at it, kind of look side by side and see if it's just the brackets that are different. But uh, yeah, that is not a lot of fun. So I'm going to ahead and wrap that one up. Um, the new lock should be on the way for the uh, wagon. So hopefully it'll be in this week. Maybe I can get it swapped out. I tried the cord one, but it didn't. It just wasn't going to work. Just two different mechanisms. Oh... So there is a trip this weekend I'm going to try to go to. There's a camping trip, and we're going to try to go to, uh, I think, North Arkansas, Northwest Arkansas, maybe uh, Ozark National Forest. So if I can get this thing kind of in the range by this week, maybe I can go. Not really looking for, not really looking likely right now, so uh, we'll see. Anyway, I'll keep you guys up to date, and I'll catch you guys very soon.